So in this story, we'll be talking about motivation for having teachers, why they chose to be a teacher. Yeah, so what were you doing before you dedicated, dedicated yourself to become a teacher? Uh, I graduated high school. Uh, <laughs> that's what I did before I did that. Uh, I also, I always had the dream to be a teacher, but before I graduated, it was between being a teacher and ag business in Nebraska. So and I chose teaching. What would you have done as like an ag business? I didn't know. Uh, I just had some calling, but I'm glad that I'm in teaching. <laughs> All right, so. What were you doing before you decided, I mean, dedicated yourself to become a teacher? Which time? First time or the second time? Both. Let's hear both. Uh, first time, I actually was going for mechanical engineering. Decided I didn't want to sit behind a computer all day, so switched over to art and found out that, hey, I could be an art teacher. Went down that path, and that was, um, tried doing that full time for a while. Couldn't get a job as it, so unfortunately, bills keep coming, so you have to kind of go with the flow and ended up switching over to construction. Did that for eight years and found out that we were going to be starting up a trades program here at the high school and thought why not see if I can do that and well here we are. Yes sir. Was there any specific moment in which you realized you truly wanted to become a teacher? Um, there was a moment when doing construction I was always the person that ended up training everybody so I just got to the point where I was like why don't I just do this full time? And because it makes a lot more sense. And it's always fun to be able to share the random things I've learned and kind of how you can use some of that random useless information to make something work. Plus it's just fun to make stuff. Um, before you came to Fieldcrest, what were you doing before you dedicated yourself to becoming a teacher? Um, I was managing a restaurant, so I did that for a few years. I was a mom. I guess I still am a mom. Um, I was substitute teaching in Pontiac, so I started that in 2014, and that's when I decided to go back to grad school to get my teaching license. Um, was there any specific moment in which you realized you truly wanted to become a teacher? Um, I think I always knew I wanted to be a teacher, um, but life kind of took me in different directions, and so it was a roundabout way to get here, but I had a really good high school English teacher who was a really big influence. and. Um, she just kind of saw everybody for who they were, and you always felt like you mattered and you belonged. And it was kind of then I realized how important teachers could be. Mm -hmm. So Dr. Pooley, what were you doing before you dedicated yourself to becoming a teacher? Um, well, that's a long story. I was, <laughs> my first degree is in radio and television. And when I was working on that, actually, before I finished that, I was in the Army for a couple of years, and then came back and finished, and ended up in Puerto Rico, working at a training center to teach people how to do media things. And uh, in the Army, I was always training people to end up training people in positions. And when I was down there, I kind of figured out that, you know, maybe what I want to do is become a teacher and work on a second degree. So Dr. Pooley, what were you doing before you dedicated yourself to becoming a teacher? Um, well, that's a long story. I was, <laughs> my first degree is in radio and television. And when I was working on that, actually, before I finished that, I was in the Army for a couple of years, and then came back and finished, and ended up in Puerto Rico, working at a training center to teach people how to do media things. And uh, in the Army, I was always training people to end up training people in positions. And when I was down there, I kind of figured out that, you know, maybe what I want to do is become a teacher and work on a second degree. Okay. So was there any specific moment that you decided you really wanted to just become a teacher? Yeah, again, I think it was when I was in Puerto Rico. I was down there, and before I was training people when I was in the Army on two-person procedures for controlling nuclear weapons. And when I was in Puerto Rico, I was training people to do media stuff, and I realized what it seemed I was good at was teach people how to do something. So my thought was, if I want to do that, what would I want to do? And I could do literally any subject area I wanted, but I picked social studies because I liked that I had history and sociology and geography and, and economics and that wide variety of topics. After interviewing these four teachers, we have come to the conclusion that they are motivated by their own students and not their own agenda. 